Hello, I am Chaplain Anthony Kelly. Today I want to talk to you about your thought life. The Apostle Paul writes in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, that he takes every thought and makes it obedient, takes captive every thought and makes it obedient to Jesus Christ. What can we do to make our thoughts obedient to Jesus Christ? So many times our thoughts, they're on the world. We're bombarded by social media, by Netflix, by prime videos, by movies and TV, and social media, Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. We're bombarded by all different external pressures. So a lot of times our thoughts wander. Maybe our thoughts are driven by lust, lust for other people, of the flesh, of possessions, or if someone else has something of covetousness, whatever it is, we're captivated by those things ourselves. But we need to take captive those thoughts and make it obedient to Jesus Christ. So those feelings of unforgiveness, bitterness, rage, hatred, anger, maybe you're driven by those thoughts as well. Give them to Jesus Christ. He's going to take your thoughts. He's going to change your thought life and help you and guide you in that. Take captive those thoughts and make them obedient to Jesus Christ. To further illustrate this, I have an experiment of sorts with you of three balls, each of a different color. Now those colors perhaps represent our thought life. A lot of times we are, we'll have thoughts of that we're just full on go all the time. We, we're just constantly go, 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 go. And we're, we're constantly thinking of the world and thinking about this and that and, and family and, and all the other stuff. Or maybe if it's even lustful, evil thoughts as well, we're just full on go. And he's trying to tell us to stop, listen to the Lord, take note of how you're thinking in your life and be still and know that I am God. And he's saying, stop. I'm going to take your life, your thought life, and I'm going to change your thought life into something you never even thought was possible. Because those evil thoughts, I'm going to heal. I'm going to cure. I'm going to take upon myself. And the Bible tells us that Jesus' yoke is easy and his burden is light. Now, it's not talking about his, the type of eggs that he wants over easy. But it is talking about how those yokes, those pressures, those things, those burdens in your life, the Lord wants to take it upon himself. And what he gives you instead is something far, far better. It's a lightness. It's a newness. It's not burdensome to carry. And he wants to take your thought life and change it to something miraculous. Today, I encourage you to take your thoughts captive. Make them obedient in Jesus Christ. Yes, yield to the Lord. Stop what you're doing. Focus on His thoughts. Go with those things. And stop with those thoughts that are evil or those things that are not right or not pleasing to God. I encourage each and every one of you today to listen to the Lord. Follow Him in His direction in life. Take obedience those thoughts, make them ca captivate them for Jesus Christ because they wander all around. Let them be obedient to Jesus Christ and your life is going to be a lot happier in Jesus name. Amen.